Top 10 Ugliest Rocks That Hide Priceless Gems They look worthless, even repulsive. Covered in dirt, riddled with cracks, and shaped like discarded rubble. But inside lies a secret that could make you a millionaire. Today, we reveal the top 10 ugliest rocks that hide some of the world's most priceless gemstones. And what you'll see at number one might just change how you look at every stone beneath your feet. Number 10. Kimberlite the bumpy gatekeeper of diamonds. It's crumbly, it's bluish gray, it looks like something you'd throw away from your driveway gravel. But hidden deep inside these volcanic rocks are diamonds. Yes, kimberlite is the ultimate camouflage. This igneous rock forms under immense pressure, shooting up from the Earth's mantle like a pipe of ancient fury. And while the rock itself is dull and pitted, it's often the only signpost that diamonds could be close. In fact, some of the largest diamond mines in the world, like the Big Hole in South Africa, exist because of this unassuming rock. So if you see a pale, patchy rock with dark inclusions and a scabby texture, you might be standing on a treasure trove of raw diamonds. Number 9. Serpentinite The warty shell hiding chrysoprase At first glance, serpentinite is unattractive. It's greenish-black with blotchy patterns, almost like snakeskin baked in mud. But within it hides something mesmerizing, chrysoprase. This gem, a translucent green variety of chalcedony, is one of the rarest forms of quartz. And it doesn't just glow. It radiates with an ethereal, apple-green hue that collectors crave. Serpentinite forms from the slow alteration of peridotite, another ultramafic rock, from the Earth's mantle. It's ugly on the outside, but often fractures open to reveal bright veins of chrysoprase within. To the untrained eye, it's just a moldy-looking rock. To a gemstone hunter, it's a lottery ticket waiting to be cracked. Number 8. Basalt. The lava scab that conceals fire opal. Black, rough, and riddled with vesicles, basalt looks like nature's charcoal waste. But buried in pockets and cavities of ancient basalt flows in Mexico and Ethiopia, fire opals are born. These dazzling gems range from vibrant orange to fiery red and yellow, their color glowing like molten lava trapped in time. And unlike most opals, fire opals often show a pure body color without the play of color effect, making them stand out as uniquely intense. Who would guess that such beauty could be entombed in volcanic ash stone? A gem forged by fire, hidden in darkness. Number 7. Schist, the flaky junk rock that cradles garnet. Schist isn't winning any beauty contests. It's flaky, brittle, and often greasy looking. Its gray-green tones scream boring, but look closer. Because embedded inside those fine layers of mica and talc, glinting like blood droplets in stone, are garnet. Especially in the northeastern United States and parts of India, these dark red gems form inside schist under high pressure and temperature. While the surrounding rock peels away like old wallpaper, the garnets remain hard, vibrant, and ready to be unearthed. You wouldn't expect a jewel of royalty to be hiding in what looks like the inside of a burnt lasagna, but nature loves irony. Number 6. Conglomerate Rock, the junk pile that guards sapphires. Conglomerate rocks are the hoarders of geology. They're made of broken pebbles, gravel, and sand cemented together over millions of years. They look chaotic, mismatched, and definitely not gem-worthy. But in the rich gravels of Sri Lanka and Madagascar, these jumbled stones guard a secret. Sapphires. Worn loose from ancient primary deposits, the corundum crystals lodge themselves inside the crevices of conglomerate beds, like forgotten treasures in a geological thrift store. That rock you just kicked aside? It might hold a blue sapphire worth thousands, just waiting to be freed from its tomb of river junk. It's easy to judge by appearance. But these rocks remind us, nature hides its best treasures where we least expect them. From a rock that looks like burnt clay but holds royal emeralds, to a stone that literally repels collectors but hides one of the rarest pink crystals on earth. And finally, the ugliest rock of all, the one that turned out to be worth more than gold. Don't blink. The second half is where the real shockers lie. Number 5. Shale, the crumbly slab holding emeralds. At first glance, shale looks like crumbling slate from an abandoned rooftop. 
It's flaky, layered, and so fragile it breaks with a whisper. But in the valleys of Colombia and Zambia, this unremarkable sedimentary rock becomes something extraordinary because within it, emeralds grow. Emeralds form when beryllium-rich fluids interact with chromium-laden shale beds under the perfect heat and pressure. These vibrant green crystals sneak into cracks and cavities, like secret messages written in stone. You could walk past this rock a thousand times, thinking it's nothing more than dried mud, and miss the chance to uncover a gem fit for queens and kings. Number 4. Cyanite, the forgotten cousin hiding blue topaz. Cyanite is the lesser-known sibling of granite. It's coarse, dull, and tends to be grayish or pinkish with no real sparkle. Geologists rarely get excited about it. But in the right pockets, especially in Brazil and Russia, it hides something electrifying. Blue topaz. This stunning gemstone often forms as a result of hydrothermal activity altering the feldspar minerals in cyanite. The result? Brilliant, icy blue gems that outsell even aquamarine in jewelry markets. So next time someone hands you an ugly slab of pink gray rock, you might be holding the shell of a gem that's about to steal the spotlight. Number three, pegmatite, the monster rock that guards multiple treasures. Pegmatite is a geological monster. It's coarse-grained, messy, and sometimes just weird-looking. It can contain giant chunks of quartz, feldspar, and mica mashed together like mineral soup frozen in time. But pegmatites are also treasure chests. Within them, you can find tourmaline, kunzite, aquamarine, spodumene, and even rare purple lapidolite and lithium-rich gems. These form as the last residues of magma cool slowly, allowing large crystals to grow. And while the rock looks like a construction site reject, it's often where miners find the most valuable and rare mineral specimens in the world. One ugly rock half a dozen stunning gemstones. Pegmatite proves that beauty doesn't just hide, it multiplies. Number two, rhyolite, the volcanic blister holding opal. Rhyolite is an explosion trapped in time. It's rough, frothy, and sometimes looks like scorched earth. But in places like Australia and Nevada, rhyolite hosts deposits of precious opal. This gemstone, famous for its brilliant flashes of color, forms when silica-rich water fills the tiny gas bubbles and cracks in rhyolite. The result is like lightning trapped inside jelly, radiant, alive, and utterly unique. And yet, the host rock is often dismissed as useless volcanic scrap. If you saw this rock on a trail, you'd step over it. But inside, there could be a gemstone that outshines diamonds under a single beam of light. Number 1. Bauxite the muddy mess that birthed rubies and sapphires. It's red, it's sticky, it stains your fingers, and it's often mistaken for rusty clay. But bauxite, the primary ore of aluminum, is where rubies and sapphires, corundum, are born. In tropical, heavily weathered areas, aluminum-rich minerals break down to form bauxite, and sometimes, under the right conditions and trace elements, corundum forms within this iron-stained mush. The bright reds and deep blues of these gems emerge from what looks like a pile of oxidized dirt. It's the ugliest rock on this list, but it hides the two most iconic gems in history, rubies, sapphires, and they all began in mud. So next time you're out walking and you stumble on a rock that looks dull, damaged, or downright disgusting, stop, look closer because nature doesn't always put her finest jewels in polished boxes. Sometimes, she wraps them in dirt, disguises them with flaws, and buries them where only the curious dare to look. These aren't just rocks, they're invitations, whispers from the earth to dig deeper. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious with EGS Pro.